Hello everyone. Welcome to Vasomeritech Heal Your Heart EECP Treatment Center. Today in this video, we are going to talk about heart attack. So many patients reach the hospital with a heart attack are aggressively managed by medical management or highly interventional procedures like bypass surgery or angioplasty. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about types of heart attack. So all heart attacks are not same. So there are different types of heart attack we are going to discuss today. Type 1, it's called spontaneous myocardial infarction. In layman terms, it means plaque rupture. So when there is a block and this block get disrupted or ruptured, it causes a heart attack. This is type 1 myocardial infarction or heart attack. The second type of heart attack is uh, demand oriented. It means there could be a block in the coronary vessel which could not be very severe, it could be very mild. In spite of that, patient might get a heart attack, not because of the block, because of something else. For example, if they have anemia or they have respiratory illness or liver problem or they have a chronic blood loss. So all these things put lot of workload to the heart. So the heart may not be able to work with a high load. So finally it gives up and have a heart attack. This is called type 2 myocardial infarction or heart attack. The third type of heart attack is sudden. Here nobody knows what happened by the time the patient reaches or, the, or the, by the time the patient has looked after he already had a severe chest pain and he has passed or he is dead. So we don't have an ECG or we don't have any enzymes to know whether it is a heart attack or not. So this kind of heart attack which is a sudden in onset is called type 3 or type 3 myocardial infarction. The fourth type is called uh, angioplasty related. Many people would think angioplasty is usually prevent heart attack, but it is not a fact wholly. In fact, angioplasty itself can also cause heart attack. Here what happened after angioplasty procedure is done, within 48 hours, if a patient had a heart attack, then it most probably because of the procedure which has been done, which is angioplasty. Or within one year, a patient with an angioplasty had a massive heart attack, it could be called as a stent thrombosis. What happen is when there is a stent placed in, sometimes the stent get clogged by lot of clot formation. This is called stent thrombosis. And the third one is uh, after the stent, probably one or two years later, the stent may close again and causes a heart attack. So these are all called type 4 heart attack. And finally, we come to the type 5 heart attack. Here what happen, it is usually related to the bypass uh, procedure. So again, bypass surgery uh, is assumed to prevent heart attack, but the fact is it itself can also cause a heart attack. The procedure involved a, a lot of uh, high risk uh, techniques. So what they do is they open the chest, they may have to grab the vessel while doing it, they may inadvertently damage the heart muscle also. So in many times, patient who was undergoing bypass surgery, immediately if they have gone for a uh, blood test, the troponin level may rise also. So this procedure during a bypass surgery, when there is a heart attack, it is called type 5 heart attack. So these 5 types of heart attack, if you closely observe, almost uh, 3 of them are related to surgical procedure or which is something which is not related to heart itself. So people should understand, so all blocks will not lead to heart attack and all heart attacks are not because of blockage. There are something else much more than blockage also, they should understand. Bypass surgery, angioplasty. So either kind of matrix EECP, Enhanced External Counter Pulsation. Heal Your Heart, Vasomeditech, EECP Treatment Center.